Uh, everybody's talking about the coronavirus, and uh, you probably are too, and worrying a little bit about, you know, what what's it all about, uh, what's going on with it. Uh, with us this morning is a guy we go to a lot of times, Dr. Cass Ingram. He's the author of The Respiratory Solution, a book that examines the SARS coronavirus. And he's an early advocate of clinical trials to establish cinnamon's ability to inactivate viruses. Uh, he is Dr. Cass Ingram, and we always love having him on the show. Good morning, Dr. Ingram. How are you? Hey, what's going on, Sutton and Company? What's, uh, the, what's the deal out there? <laughs> we're, not, we're doing okay. We're in Pennsylvania so far. We haven't gotten attacked by it, but... Uh, you know, everybody's watching it to see what's going on. Obviously, it's the main talk around the world. And uh, what's going on with you? I mean, you, you're always well, the guy I, I to attack this. I from Seattle, the hot zone. Oh, I you did? I was lecturing about the human coronavirus and other pathogens and Lyme disease and more. Right. But uh, I tell you what, as long as the state, I'll do a clinical trial. The states that take the most oil of wild oregano will be the, have the least cases. You are the guy who was a co-researcher of the study that shows oils of oregano and cinnamon destroyed yeah. the coronavirus in the lab. So tell us about this. It was published. Yeah, I did a really good. I treated yeah. two cases of SARS. They nearly died on me, but I gave them a product. And the product obliterated. The, I mean, the product worked and saved their lives. They were two hardcore cases off of airplanes. Wow. And uh, so I then researched it. You know, they're right on the shelf in all the health, Pennsylvania health food stores, especially DeWalt's and Bunn's and... Uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't think of it. Holly Hill and more. Okay. But Pollux. Okay, so what I did was I took the oil of wild oregano. We've talked about that before. We have. The super strength. Super really strength. Good one, the T73. It's a premium one. Anyway, I took that. We dumped the bottle 1%. So let's say 1,000 milliliters of solution cells that are infected with the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And you give, so you've got 1,000 milliliters, so you'd give what is it, 100 milliliters of this stuff. Okay. So 1%. So, well, that's 10%. So whatever, it was 10 milliliters. Whatever, <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. Not a much, not a much. So it, it destroyed 99.9% .9 of the viruses in the cells in 15 minutes. Wow. And by 20 minutes, it went from 5 million per centimeter down to 150. Down, wow. way down. Then we tested that cinnamon with the oregano and sage. It's called Orega Rest. Remember that name. Orega Rest. -E okay. All right. One in 10,000 dilution. One tenth the amount of oregano oil. You know how powerful oregano oil is. Mm -hmm. And it obliterated all traces 100%, no detectable viruses in, in 20 minutes. Now, why are people out there in the scientific world saying, Get the oregano, get the cinnamon, uh, get all this stuff. What's the matter? Well, What's I, going on? I am, I am working with Georgetown University in another lab to do some more studies. All right. And we're trying to help get into the hospitals to administer this, give it to the people, and uh, knock this thing out. But what happened? You know, people trended my research. They found it online. You know, mm -hmm. they're searching. They posted it. 2,000 Facebook posts. Were uh, Facebook posts. They just trended it. It was trending and going up and up, and there was an awareness. Maybe some medical officers would see it. You know what happened? Go ahead. Google stepped in. Google, Twitter, and Facebook censured it. Really? They crushed that trending by the general public. Now, I didn't post it. It was my old research. Mm -hmm. And they wiped it out. So that's, I mean, there's an attitude that if it's not a grant for a pharmaceutical. Right. right. You know what I mean? Or Can't a work. vaccine. Forget it. Hey, what is it? Tell me what it is. And I know you and I have talked about this before. But what is it about oregano that has these medicinal qualities that seem to be able to cut into, you know, the flu and, and possibly the coronavirus and other things as well? What, what are the properties? Well, it's, a God, it's, it's got to be a God thing because, first of all, it's in the Bible. You know, I'm not a scripture expert, but it's there. It says detoxify yourself, cleanse yourself with this stuff. And that means oregano. And... Uh, and then, of course, it grows on the top of the mountains. You know, in Pennsylvania, you have trees all the way up to the top. Right. But I was, I was flying over the Rockies. I came from the hot zone. The trees were ending you know, uh, before the peaks. Uh -huh. The oregano grows on the peaks. Okay. In, in the Mediterranean, on the mountaintop where there's no trees. It's so powerful it can digest rock. It is the most powerful plant on the earth. So if we don't have any medicine, since we don't have a vaccine, since there's nothing to do, so, you know, you've got a plant medicine that's a germicide. 
And it also it's, sounds like a good reason to catch a piece of pizza, right? It would be lots of pizza, <laughs> lots of spaghetti. I don't know. The Italians have got to get more in them because they're dying over there. Yeah, they're having but, a tough uh, time with this. But let me tell you something. Go ahead. You know one country has no cases? Go ahead. Turkey. Turkey has entire mountain ranges of oregano. They eat it over there like we eat, uh, uh, you know, uh, your lettuce, romaine lettuce or whatever. So it becomes they like a proactive it. way or a preventative way of actually going about even getting this stuff in the first place, they right? Would. Yeah. If we could, look, if we could get the word out more and more in Pennsylvania that, and because this is popular here, that if they got these two products and they took them every day, it would be preventive. There you go, people. Just an idea. And it can't hurt you. So no, oregano is something we When's use. When's the last time anybody died from an <laughs> oregano overdose? You never hear of the oregano <laughs> virus either, do you? I mean, oh, I just, just not happening yet. Hey, uh, where can they find out more about this, Dr. Ingram? They should go to oregano.com, www.oregano.com. And all the famous mom and pa health food stores in all of Pennsylvania know about my work. You know, I've lectured, lectured in your town uh, endlessly. Okay. So places like Palmyra and Buns and DeWalt's and uh, Pollock's and Holly Hill, they're all gotcha. famously attached. Dr. Ingram, always a treat to talk to you and always informative. Thank you so much, yes. my friend. Bye-bye. You take care. Dr. Cass Ingram with us this morning here.